Hello. Oh, 42 Four, days two. to go to do this. Six date, weeks. Which means the day is six weeks from six today. Weeks. I am 34 weeks. weeks pregnant. Here is. It's a lot of belly. The belly. It's like you can eclipse the sun with this belly. <laughs> it's a lot of belly. And she's. What did your grandfather say always. at dinner the other night? So my grandfather, he's asking me all the time, hey, what's in there? I say, it's a baby girl. He goes, how do you know it's a girl? So we, we have that same conversation a lot. And at dinner the other night, he goes, so when is the baby coming? I said, in six weeks. And then I stood up and he looks at me and goes, you sure it's not next week? And we all burst out laughing. <laughs> I really don't think she's coming in September. I know my brother really thinks she's coming uh, we, in nobody September. Wants that. I mean, my initial gut, and I've been saying this the whole time, I feel like October 24th, but now I am starting to feel maybe she's going to come like a little before the due date, but I don't think she's going to come. I really don't think she's going to come super early or anything. Your mom's really rooting for the 10th. I don't think she's coming that early. 13th. I wouldn't mind if the 13th, 13th happens. Now I'm, kind of, 13th. now I'm kind of feeling the 16th. Pulling for the 13th. Um, but if the 13th happens, I would be thrilled. So let's go through all of the 34 week funness. Funness. The weekly funness. I like that. The weekly funness. It's the scientific term. Wow. Her hand is this big, and her foot is this big. <laughs> and she is. Oh, it's the. Uh, the happiest animal the in the happiest world. Animal the Kulka. We didn't know what this animal you was. You gotta drop in a photo. I'm totally gonna drop in like a couple right here. We had no idea what this animal was with Lila and we were like, what do you mean the happiest animal? And we looked it up and we were like, oh, it smiles. how are it you smiles. this cute? Are you real? And I want you. It's not a huge animal, but it's... It's not small though. It's it's bigger than a lot of toy-sized dogs. Yep. Like it's it's, it's a true. decent size. Baby Rosawa is now about the size of Kuoka. Kuokas have possibly the happiest looking face of all mammals. And don't fear people naturally. Talk about a friendly stranger. Is that not the cutest face like ever? Oh my gosh. Yo, yo. So cute. 34 weeks pregnant. Poop maker. Your baby is proudly producing merconium, which will make up the very first poop. And speaking of poop, staying regular, read on for more developments this week. So you can't leave the hospital until the baby produces the merconium just to make sure everything is all right. And if your water breaks and there's merconium staining, you're kind of racing to an emergency situation because that can cause a lot of infection. But she's yeah. already producing it now, which is pretty cool. Actually. Where is she supposed to be? Ovia. O V A. A. Oh, right. Oh, I forgot about that. What? Group B strep. Remember? Because I can pass that to the baby if I have it or she uh, could, like it could be in the birthing canal as well as... Right. Totally forgot about that. The things you forget from the first go round to the second go round, we are like, right, because I remember most of it. But then there are moments where I'm like, oh, right. We have a kid. That, because you have to get on antibiotic while you're in labor if you've got it so the baby doesn't get sick. We have a kid. We do. She's three. Oh. She's three. She's right. really cute. She's like really cute. Group B strep, often called GBS, is a common type of bacteria. When you think about bacteria, you might immediately think ick. But this is a bacteria that occurs in the body naturally. These little GBS organisms typically live in the intestines and the urinary and genital tracts. The good news? Usually GBS doesn't cause any symptoms or make you sick and can actually come and go. Though sometimes it can lead to minor infections like bladder, UTIs. And again, a lot of people carry group B naturally. About one in four pregnant women carry GBS bacteria in the vagina or the rectum. You might never know it until you get tested for it during pregnancy because if you have it, like I just said, you need to be on antibiotics during delivery so that the baby doesn't get it. I had totally forgotten about that. It happens. Yeah. I was definitely negative with Lila. Am I making you seasick? <laughs> and we'll see uh, what it... Am I making you seasick? It's, it is, it's a weird video. <laughs> a little bit baby center. Baby center. Woo! Let's see. She is... <laughs> A cantaloupe. Cantaloupe Rosenwa. Cantaloupe Rosenwa. Cantaloupe Quoka Rosenwa. Cantaloupe Quoka. That's the name. You heard it here, folks. All right. So it says the length is 17 and three quarter inches and weight is three, four and three quarter pounds. Yeah, she but weighs more than that. I think nearing 18 inches and she was just over five. How long was Lila? 19. Huh? So what they do is they reach their birth height and then they finish packing on the weight. The weight. So she she could be done at the 18 inches. She be almost inch done mark. in length, yeah. I feel like she might go another. Lila was 19 inches. I was 19 inches. You were tiny. I don't know. 
Back to Ovia. Ovia! Daily development. It says six weeks. It says six weeks. Six weeks. Your amniotic fluid volume is still increasing, but pretty soon it will reach a maximum volume, and this happens around 35 weeks oftentimes because you run out of room, but you still put on a lot of weight right at the end there. The mom puts on about a pound a week while the baby puts on half a pound just because of the excess blood flow and all that, but the amniotic fluid stops in the next week. Oh my gosh, this is so close, you guys. It's so close. We should finish taking... We have so much to do. Training and taking classes. We have so much stuff. to do. If she's born this week... Please don't be born this week. I love you and we're excited to meet you, stay but inside. stay inside. I've been Braxton Kickstein very regularly in the evenings the last few nights. It always dissipates, but it's kind of happening. I think it's also your body at the end of the day going, hey, it's time to slow down. Yeah, Maybe and then it goes nervous. for a little while. If you've been nervous about a preterm labor, you'll be happy to know that babies born between 34 and 37 weeks who have no other health problems generally do just fine. They might need a short stay in the NICU or might have a few short-term health issues, but not long at all. Like we said, we want to get to at least 37 weeks. I want to hold her all the way to 40, but I'm also an overachiever, but it just, there's a pride to it and I want to, I want to do it. So you we'll like see. rules. You like I guidelines. like rules and I like getting A pluses when I do that. I just do. You get an A plus with Lila. Uh, yeah. Okay. So last she's night. She's A positive. She is. That's how I remember her blood type. She's an A plus. I was like, that's right. <laughs> I'm O negative. We never know. With we you. never know with you, but that means you must be A B positive or A po or. I have to be a negative, don't I? No, you could be positive to so that she's a positive. Okay, what are you? Oh, negative. Okay. I'm that universal donor, but I can only get my own. I'm like the super rare one, which is kind of cool. So last night we took that class. Very quick review of it. What did you think? Um, I didn't think it was anything revolutionary. I think she's massively overselling what she's selling. Mm -hmm. I appreciate what she's selling. I mean, the way she's selling it is BS. It's a very typical, you know, when you take a free webinar and then there's an upsell at the end for the course. He made a good point. Because I'm a, an, an artist and a singing teacher, the way that I teach my students to breathe, that's kind of what got me through a lot of the first labor. And one of the greatest compliments I ever got was one of my students and friends who went into labor with her first son said, I wouldn't have gotten through that without your breathing. Like I was using your breathing techniques. So at least that gets me a little more equipped but there's something about not being able to take in-person classes this go round that feel a weird. just feels weird. So I'm I'm glad, and she has a lot of options of speaking to like having a Q and A Q &A with the midwife, and uh, there was a nice little add-on course for free of getting big sister ready, like little things like that, yeah. which I I appreciated. The course itself, yeah, it wasn't anything revolutionary, but I am curious as to. What else I can implement? It also, to teach wasn't myself. wildly expensive. I was expecting this wild, huge upsell, and it really wasn't. So we decided, you know what? Just to put a little more mind ease in this whole situation, we are still going to take the other course that Wait, we signed look, up for, which is the birth class, and we may sign up for one more just because infant CPR is a completely different beast than pediatric child and adult CPR. Yeah, it's the two. I mean, we remember some of it, but you're supposed to have recertification every year. And I know we'll feel better if we do that. Sure. So we are going to do that. And then the rest of it, we're just going to go with the flow and, uh, yeah. and see. But it's getting so close. It's getting so close. And just this is exciting for me. I found the wallpaper I'm going to use in the nursery on the accent wall. I accidentally stumbled upon it yesterday. And it's so pretty. And it's going to look really pretty with the little purple flowers that's going to be on her bedspread and stuff. So... I am curating both rooms in my Amazon cart at the moment, and I'm gonna pull the trigger in the next few days because then I need to do it all before we can she do shows it all, up. Not just you. Yeah, I'm gonna need your help hanging the wallpaper. Of course. Yeah, I'm gonna need his help with that. He did that in Lila's room too. I have a video of him putting the sticky wallpaper. That's when, up. I, that's when I got hired for that's walking when you for Elise Walker. For Elise Walker. Mm -hmm. While we were doing that, I was like 37 or 38 weeks mm -hmm. at that point. Yeah, three, four weeks to go. The countdown is like really getting. Yeah. Close. Can I believe it? Here we go. That's it. I love you. I love you too. Subscribe up here. Watch Diddy down here. Mm -hmm. Click the like button and the bell for notifications. And send in those questions Please in the comments. Do. It's getting close. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.